The year was 1955. That's when a young Ken Hatfield recognized his Razorback fandom for the first time. My principal at the time was Mr. Paul Fair. He gave me a t-shirt with a huge red hog on it. It's the first Razorback thing I ever had. After a week or so, the principal called my mother and said, Miss Hatfield, said, yes. I said, Ken done something wrong? I said, no, but would you please take that Razorback t-shirt off and wash it? It's beginning to stink. Because I'd been wearing it as such a nice new gift with a hog on it. I'd been wearing it every day to school. Little did Hatfield know he'd donned the Cardinal and White as a defensive back and member of the one and only national championship Arkansas football team. We, we were humbled enough that we remembered the year before so distinctly we knew we could not have a bad day. The Razorbacks have finished the year undefeated in 11 games. Every team at Arkansas can still learn these same lessons here about building blocks of how to be a competitor, about how to be encouragement, how to pick your brother up. A Texas victory over Alabama in the Orange Bowl that evening leaves the Razorbacks alone at the top of the college football world. A player under Frank Broyles, then a coach in his tree, Hatfield led the Hogs from 1984 to 1989. And coming back here, I think one of the greatest feelings I had was before the first ball game, getting ready to coach. Uh, the day before, we just buried my grandfather. The very next day, I'm standing on the, in Little Rock, getting ready to run down the ramp before all of our great Arkansas fans that came into War Memorial Stadium. And uh, the tingle and the feel I had is like nothing else. Bringing Arkansas to six bowl showings. We only had one rule on the team, and that's the team comes first. His team's coming away with two Southwest Conference crowns in 88 and 89. And Ken Hatfield gets a well-deserved ride on his players' shoulders. Now, Hatfield just as immersed in college football as ever, a member of the playoff selection committee. thought it would be a tremendous uh, honor and at uh, the same time a tremendous responsibility. Just as wearing the A was and still is, for the forever Razorback. Arkansas uh, is second to none.